Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, head extreme. New racket? Pro? Tour? Stay tuned. Tag partner! Oh gosh! Oh, Coach Gu just did a tweener on the fast track tennis. You can get your tweener on the fast track tennis too. 365 days a year. Discount code is below. Get your fast track on today. All right, guys, new head extreme pro in the house. Head decided to change the name from tour to the new pro. Now, it remains at 98 square inches in the head. It keeps the 16 by 19 string pattern. The weight is 305 grams still in place, which is 10.8 ounces unstrung. Now, as the smallest of the whole extreme line, we are also the thinnest. And what I mean by the thinnest is we have 22, 23, 21. So we keep a thin beam, even at where the muscle is, it's only 20 three okay and the flex from the 21 here and it's also the head lightest in the balance at 315 millimeters wow so we got the smallest head lightest and the thinnest of all the extremes auxetic two in the handle throat area they have these spin grommets. This head size and weight is kind of, you know, the most popular head size and weight on the market right now. So this has a lot to compete with. It did very well in the tour edition. It was one of my favorites in um, the 98s in that 10.8 realm. So excited to try it. Let's. Get on the court. All right, just got off the court with the new Extreme Pro. Um, Coach Jared, mm -hmm. I think Head needs to get their um, stuff straight because it was Pro and then it was Tour. Mm -hmm. When it was Pro the first time, it really wasn't very good. It was actually on my bad list mm -hmm. of worst rackets ever. When it became Tour, it became really good. Mm -hmm. And then now it's back to Pro. What did you think of the new Pro. So typically when it comes to the headline, I usually actually gravitate towards the extremes, not just because of the color cosmetic, but um, the last iteration was actually super nice with kind of the avocado green, which they kind of left on here, um, have a little bit of a highlighter yellow, so it kind of pops out a little bit more. Um, but when it comes to the extremes, um, I kind of think about control-oriented rackets, because again, Matteo Berrettini is the one that endorses this, so he has like probably one of the biggest forehands on tour. Um, not the greatest backhand, and I think this racket kind of, you know, echoed that. So the launch angle was a little bit um, lower than usual, but at the same time, the racket felt super stable. So for me, it took maybe five or ten minutes for me to adjust to the launch angle. I was kind of dumping a couple of backhands into the net, forehand was still a little bit long. Um, but as soon as I got used to the feel of the racket, this thing felt great. Um, typically, when it comes to 98 square inch head size rackets, I also like to add a lot of weight. But I would actually play this stick in stock form. So super stable on the hard shots. 
Uh, very easy, easy put away power. Um, at the same time, I think they also kind of reduced the flexibility on this version. So it actually felt really good kind of throughout the whole stick itself. Um, and yeah, at the same time, I think uh, overall, Head's been doing a great job with the Auxetic 2.0. I think it adds even more feel to their frames, at the same time, a lot more responsiveness. So I think, uh, yeah, the Head's, Head Extreme Pro might be a racket that I may consider down the, down the road if I ever decide to change again. So, good racket overall. Wow! I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, I agree with everything you said. I, this would be the one I would use if I was using a Head. Easy plow, you do feel the weight come through, which is interesting to me. I was expecting, because this is the head lightest of the whole line, that it would come through quick but not be so stable. But I felt like everything over my hand out to here, it actually plowed through and then it finished with the head. So it came throat, 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 head came around. So I, you were talking about trajectory. My ball actually came down too. Yes. It made me plow. And I'm like, oh, wow. It's actually making me hit through the ball and through the court, yes. which was shocking to me. Only certain rackets that I add a ton of lead to do that for me. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I was saying this thing feels great in stock form. And as you guys know, I also have super long strokes. And I think this racket does favor longer strokes. So I was I was enjoying this and the swing that was great. And, um, again, launch angle kept it low. My balls, like you said, usually come from the sky. For me, it was going through the court and plowing through. So it's pretty good, pretty good stick. Yep. This, I mean, they said it's a spring, a, a spin pattern. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty tight to me for 16, 19. Mm -hmm. And then the sound grommet. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but I thought it was a spin grommet. I mean, it sounded good. You didn't dampen this. Um, I did put a damper oh, on you it, did put a damper but on. at the same time, I got some great responsiveness out of it. There's still plenty of feel in the stick, so I'm kind of, yeah, I'm a little confused what the sound grommets are, kind of what it's, what it's for, but I thought it was still played well, so, yeah. Yeah, as you see, we put a hybrid on it, so it's, uh, it's poly and, uh, accidentally gut <laughs> 60 pounds, losing my sight. It was supposed to be 50 for somebody else, but we wound up with the 60. <laughs> Still felt great though. Still awesome. <laughs> yeah. Coach, Coach Jared, any final words? Uh, no, great job from Head. I think they're uh, starting to take over the uh, racket world. So they're doing, they're doing pretty good stuff out there. Yep, I love it. This would be mine. And I think this would be Coach Jared's too. Mm -hmm. Coach Jared, where can we find you? You guys can find me on Instagram at Mod Tennis and follow my joint Instagram at KJ Tennis. All right. Thank you, Coach. Check out that KJ Tennis. It's a. Uh, it's a dual uh, venture. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.